If you're looking for an easy meal prep for the week, then this video is for you, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. I've been following the Starch Solution since January of 2020. If you'd like more information on the Starch Solution, I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book, The Starch Solution, in the description box below. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. If you're curious about plant-based eating or new to this way of eating, or maybe you've been doing it a while and you just like some more support, I started a Facebook group. We're a pretty active group and there you will find recipes, photos of delicious food, inspiration, and best of all, support. I will leave a link to the Facebook group in the description box below. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I have created an e-guide that explains why a plant-based diet is good for you. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So today's video will be a food prep video. I'm going to be getting ready to do a little mini reset. This is not a Mary's Mini, not at all. You may find some similarities, but this is my little version of a reset. So I'm just going to be showing you how I'm going to prep my food. There's not going to be any distinction between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm going to be making a variety of things and they can be interchangeable for breakfast, lunch, or dinner or whatever meals you eat during the day. So let me explain some of my rules and they are just rules for myself. Do I usually eat this way? No. Do I think you should eat this way? No. This is just something I like to do. I like to challenge myself. I like to be in competition with myself. It just makes things more fun. Sometimes I get bored with the way I'm eating, so I just do a little challenge. And this little challenge, it's not even a challenge. It's just kind of a, a reset of my taste buds. And I will be doing it for at least three days, but no more than seven. So if after three days I feel good about everything, then I'll stop or I'll continue on, and it might be five days, who knows, but it's very, it's very loose, these rules. I'll be picking one starch, and I'm going to be doing potatoes, and that includes sweet potatoes, and um, I'm going to show you a few different ways that I'm going to prepare those, so I have them ready in the fridge, I'm going to be taking those uh, meals to work, so I have those ready at work as well. I will be referring to the calorie density chart while I'm going through this little reset, and if you notice, um, we've got non-starchy vegetables are 100, starts there, goes on all, all the way up to oil. So I'll be sticking to foods that are around 400 calories or less per pound. So that will include non-starchy vegetables, potatoes, and I will eat a little bit of fruit. But mostly I'm going to be eating potatoes, non-starchy vegetables, salads, but I'm not going to be eating any beans, tofu, any nuts, avocado, anything like that. So I'm going to try to keep my calories per pound around 400. And I'm going to allow myself to eat whenever I'm hungry. So, you know, if I get hungry, grab a potato, grab some carrot sticks. I'll be eating what fits in those categories. Like I said, this is just for me. This is just what I'm doing. So it may seem extreme to some people but it's just a little fun thing I like to do. Another thing I won't be doing is adding salt to my food. I noticed I was starting to eat way too much salt. I was waking up puffy. I'd wake up super thirsty. And that's my sign to myself that yes, you are eating too much salt. Now I'm not gonna worry about salt that are in condiments like uh, ketchup or my cheese sauce. And yes, I know in my cheese sauce, I do have some cashews, but I use the cashew powder, which is way less in uh, calories and fat, so that is going to be an exception. So I will be putting my cheese sauce on my veggies. Like I said, these are my rules, so I can do whatever I want, right? So along with the salt, I also noticed I was eating a little bit more chocolate than I normally do. And I'm not against eating chocolate, and I do eat it, but I was noticing that I was eating it quite a lot, like every night, and it's a slippery slope for me. So that's why I felt like I need to reset, reset my taste buds, 
really um, hone in on those starches and non-starchy vegetables. And I've done this a few times before and it usually does the trick and then I'm right back on track. So that's why I'm going to be showing you how I'm prepping for the week. And it's very similar how I prep anyway. Uh, I just won't be doing any oatmeal, any rice, uh, any pasta. It will, it will basically be non-starchy vegetables, fruit, and potatoes. Okay, so that's enough rambling. I feel like I'm rambling on and probably not making much sense. So I'm just going to show you what I'll be making for this week coming up. Today is Sunday, so I will start this tomorrow, Monday. I know I'm posting this on Tuesday, uh, but and I will already be on my second day when you're watching this. So let's get started. I like to get everything that's gonna go in the oven first. So I'm gonna have two baking sheets full of veggies. Here I've got some parsnips, mushrooms, and some peppers. These were just kind of leftover stuff I wanted to get rid of. And then I've got three zucchinis and two yellow squash. So I'm gonna slice those up. And then these are gonna go on this baking sheet. Now I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees and I'll probably roast these for 20 minutes. And we'll move on to the zucchini. So now I'll season them up. Granulated garlic, onion powder. Be generous, nothing worse than bland vegetables. And this is smoked paprika. And I did mix them around so then both sides got spices on it. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven, like I said, 400 for about 20, maybe 25 minutes. So these are all the potatoes I have. I've got russets, I've got red, I've got gold. I've got these little minis that are gonna be great for snacks, so I'm just gonna steam these up and then I'll just eat these whole for a snack. So the first thing I wanna do is make some mashed potatoes. So I'm going to start with that. So I'll be using these russet potatoes for my mashed potatoes. And then I have plenty left over to make French fries during the week. And I just like to make my fries from raw potatoes. I also still have a bag of Trader Joe's hash browns in the freezer. So I'm still gonna use those up. So I have a lot of choices for potatoes. And I don't use a potato peeler, I use a paring knife. And then I just quarter them. and I'll rinse them off before I start, but I'm just gonna throw them in here. You always wanna start with cold water and let them heat up from there. But I can go much faster with a paring knife to peel a potato. And I've been doing this since I was 10 years old, so I'm not gonna switch now. I mean, potato peeler just takes forever. Yeah, I know you, get, you take off more potato, but you know, I'm all about Let's get it done, quick. But if you feel more comfortable with a potato peeler, be my guest. So I'm just gonna continue finishing up these potatoes here. I also have a little bit of cauliflower left over, so I'm gonna add that to the, these potatoes. and then uh, we will just mash them all in together. Won't even notice. All right, now I'm gonna steam up our little baby potatoes. A little water, I wash these up, throw them in, and we'll get these going on the stove as well. I like to have all these things going at once, and some will get done before others, but it just makes me feel good to know I've got a bunch of things going on the stove and in the oven. So I've got my big old steamer and I've already got about a pound of green beans in here. And then I have my broccoli, a whole lot of broccoli. So I'm gonna cut this up and put it in my steamer basket here. And I like the stock too, so I just usually cut it in half and throw it in as well. So I usually break off, start by breaking off what I can. And then when it gets down, then I start making them smaller, like that. 
Now look at this. This is quite the head of broccoli. Mm-mm. All right, I'm gonna continue cutting up the rest of my broccoli and packing this thing full, and we'll get that on the stove as well. While everything's cooking away over here, I just wanna say that it's very important to me that you all know that I know you are all on your own journey and we are all doing the best we can. You know, me doing this reset is just something that I like to do for myself. I like to play little games with myself. I'm, comp I'm a competitive person. But if that's not your style or your thing, don't worry about it. You just do what's best for you, okay? But I'm human like the rest of you and I stress eat. I can go off track just like you all do. Uh, the only difference is what I do now than what I used to do is I get right back on. I don't let it derail me for long periods of time. If you feel like you need to do a reset or if you just feel like you just want to keep doing what you're doing, then that it's all okay. You know, it's we're all on our own journey and we all have to do what's best for ourselves. So I'll get off my soapbox now and we'll check out all this food as it starts to get ready. Okay, so the potatoes are done. So I'm gonna drain drain these, but I'm not gonna drain all the liquid because I'm gonna use that. Normally I would put some soy milk in here, but since I'm doing my reset, no soy milk. I'm just gonna use this water. So let me go take these over to the stove, drain them a bit, and then I'll show you how I make them from here. So as you can see, there's a little bit of water still in there, but just to be on the safe side, I poured some off to have it ready in case I need it because once you pour it down the sink, it's over. Then we're gonna season it up and you don't wanna skimp on the seasonings. I've got granulated garlic. Get in there good. Some onion powder. And I like to put nutritional yeast in there too. I just start with the potato masher. Get the big chunks down and then let's mix. And I will add a bit of that potato water. So here is my first three days of lunch snack. I'm gonna bring some blueberries as well. That's gonna be my first three days of my little mini reset. And we'll see if I go farther than this, but I'm ready for the first three days. And I still have plenty of my broccoli and green beans, my little baby potatoes, and my roasted veggies. And I have some mashed potatoes left as well. But when I come home, I'm gonna have a big salad, and then I'll probably make some fries. And I will post that on my stories, my Instagram stories, or in the Facebook group. So that's it for my little mini reset and the foods that I prepared. It didn't really take that long, maybe an hour and a half. And it's real simple to do. And I do prep every Sunday, uh, not maybe in this fashion, but I always have potatoes and veggies, all that ready to go for the week. And just to say it again, this is just something I'm doing for myself. This is in no way something that you have to do to be successful on the Starch Solution. This is just kind of a fun thing I like to do for myself. Just remember that when you are on any kind of lifestyle change, it is about progress, not perfection. There's gonna be bumps on the road. We're all so different. We, there's, there's so much of emotional connection with food and we all have our own things connected to that and so it's not a one-size-fits-all this is just the basics and you just need to figure out what works for you by trial and error that's what I did and that's what a lot of people do and don't beat yourself up if you're not losing weight right away sometimes it takes a little bit for your body to respond to this new way of eating so just be kind to yourself, keep going, be consistent. That is the most important thing is to stay consistent. So just keep working the start solution one day at a time and you'll get there. La 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 la. Okay, what shall I say? Outlines, nope. Ooh, this one's tough. Come on, well, this one's gonna fight me. Hand mixer, Wait, what am I talking about? Oh, for the love of Jesus. 